Hey everybody, Brett from Stars Gaming here, back with another episode of our Warhammer 40k Death Watch Let's Play. So as you probably guessed, I was able to get through the remainder of the mission that we were stuck on previously because of a bug that we were having. Um, but yeah, I managed to finish it off. There was a Carnifex at the end that we had to kill, but it wasn't very eventful. I was able to take him out um, in, I think, one turn, so it wasn't very exciting at all. But uh... Yeah, so we are back for part two of Act 9. We've got two missions left after this one, and we're going to try to get two done today so that we can play the final mission uh, in its entirety by itself in the, the series finale. So let's go ahead and jump into a normal game. And we're going to roll with this team. Elijah, Dagmar, Ventress, Tamir, and Sindril. We're going to drop... Thomas from the previous team that we used because he he did level up a couple times I think he leveled up to level three or four but we just don't have enough firepower to give to like two of these guys and since Ventress can heal I'd rather give him the melta gun and let him heal people rather than have somebody who can do roughly the same amount of damage but not heal and then obviously we want the big gun coming with us. We've got Sindril, Dagmar, Elijah. I imagine there's going to be another big guy in this mission, so maybe we should bring You know what? I'm going to do I'm going to do something a little bit a little bit uh unorthodox here. We're going to bring Incarnus instead. He's got the multi melta and I think that's going to be a little bit better for us. The heavy bolter just does not work very well against larger enemies. Unfortunately, neither does Elijah's plasma gun. Is there anything better that we can give him, in fact? No. No, there isn't. That's, that's disappointing, but oh well. Okay, so this is the team we're going to roll with. Let's go ahead and jump in. Can you hear me? Vox comms have been disrupted. You must reach the platform edge to set the vortex bomb. Sounds easy enough. I imagine it won't be. Let's see what we've got here. Let's have Elijah peek his head out. Okay, doesn't seem to be anything just yet. Oh, we got Gene Stealers already. I don't know that he's going to be able to uh, kill a Gene Stealer with his plasma gun, but we'll try it. Uh, he, no, not even close. Yeah, the only one who can really effectively deal with Gene Stealers is um, Sindril and his Melta gun. Everybody else just kind of... I don't know. They, it takes several shots to put them down, and it's just kind of disappointing. I'll use a grenade here, because why not? By the time we need it again, it'll... It'll come back. Uh, let's see, we'll take one step there. How about one, two there? And... Oh, we got a, a guy there. Cool, he's dead. He's also dead. I'll put uh, Ventress right here. That's going to take all of his AP. You got one back for that kill. That's pretty cool. Nowhere to use it, though. So let's overwatch this in case anybody decides to run up on us. And he's going to have to hold on to that one. Oh, that was a waste. Do a little bit of damage there. He's going to run up on us too, which is pretty much the dumbest thing he could have done because he's more of a threat at long range versus close range. Uh, Dagmar, why don't you kill him? I really wish Sindriel could shoot him because I don't trust him in melee combat. We'll try it. 
He's gonna get counterattack though, isn't he? Yep. Come on, dude, just finish him. You got like a hand chainsaw thing. Oh, that sucks. All right. Elijah gets the XP then. We'll let Sindril poke his head out. See what's happening out here. Looks like it's clear for the most part. Overwatch there. Dagmar will step out and overwatch this way. Move the rest of these guys up. Actually, I should probably put you here. Not that it really matters, but I don't like trapping Elijah in there. Okay. Oh, we had a Hormagon there. Now he's Hormagon. Ha ha ha. That was bad. Alright. Um, oh, we got little dudes. That's an easy kill. This will be an easier one. Unless we miss. For 70% chance, he misses pretty often. Like, it's got to be slightly lower than 70%. Let's see. You guys are pretty much out of AP, so we'll get you to cover. And then we'll have you guys do that. And you can stand here. Actually, you know what? We'll put him on that side. He'll be a better compliment to him. Overwatch there. You can't overwatch, so just save those. And you're stuck. So just be stuck. Got one enemy that we can see. I don't think he's going to be able to do anything, though. Yeah, he's going to retreat. So... We have these little pathways here. We should probably make sure that they're clear. Oh wow, there's a lot of a lot of dudes. Go ahead and use your ability. I was hoping he'd be able to do a little bit better than that. Okay. Oh man, you gotta get that kill. Wow. That was pretty pathetic. And he's barely gonna get that one. Let's see what's happening over here. Nothing, but we're gonna keep checking it out anyways. And then Ventress is gonna clear this one. And that'll let you move up to here. How many AP does he have? Six. So if we use three, he can still overwatch. Let's get him to there then. Okay, cool. So anybody walks in here, they're getting a multi melta to the face. Like that. Exactly like that. Okay. Let's see, he'll take one step up. He can still overwatch. You guys are going to continue to move up as well. Oh, there's a dude there. You can't see him. That sucks. Cool. Saved him. Uh, let's not go any further than like that. Just because now... Um, he can't overwatch, so these guys have to kind of pick up the slack. Dagmar doesn't get very many free moves anymore. I feel like his mobility's gone down almost. Let's keep an eye on that. We'll just kind of end our turn right here for now. Uh-oh. Something's moving. That's not good. Ah, oh, crap. Well, I knew something was up. So is that like a hive tyrant? Yeah, hive tyrant, great. Um, okay, you need to go hide. Let's get him back here. At least he takes up two spaces, so he can't move back here. So we need to use those little flanking areas to our advantage. 
I'm going to leave you right there for now. I think I'll just put everybody on Overwatch. So if he wants to walk down the middle, we'll hit him pretty hard. Uh, Dagmar is going to have to hang out right there because he does have a ranged attack and it's pretty powerful. So let's just make sure he doesn't sneak up on us. Really, you can't get both of those? There it is. Okay. Oh, he's coming toward Elijah. Damn it. Oh, and Gene Stealers too? Wow, they are really throwing a lot at us. Yeah, you gotta bail. Let's have him fall back to here. He can't follow, I don't think. I mean, he might go right there and keep shooting. But that's fine if he wants to do that. Meanwhile, I need to keep the center covered because I know he can fit through here. And if he runs up on these guys, we'll be in real trouble. Let's see, why don't you step back one and then overwatch. Or should I just take a couple shots at him? One, two, three, four. Let's go ahead and shoot at him. Hey. Oh, out of range, right. Well, then overwatch. I don't like wasting his AP, but I cannot be in that guy's line of sight. Let's see, am I if I step right here? No, I'm not. Okay, then. When he comes back this way, we're going to have to move him, though. We've got to hit and run. Awesome. Yeah, he's going to come this way and just go after Elijah. Ooh. One of those missed, but the other hit pretty hard. Okay. Let's just continue to fall back, then. So he's going to have to come back this way now, and he's going to have to go the long way. Which, you know, works out for us because the more AP he wastes, the better. You're just going to keep hanging out right here. I should probably get him healed, but he's a little bit far away. Oh, wow, okay. That's some range. Are you going to kill him? You're going to kill him. Now we're in real trouble. The whole reason I brought that multi melta was so that we, you know, if we had to deal with a big guy like that, we'd have some firepower. And, and now we don't have him. Come on, get this kill. Oh, damn you. Damn you, Ventress, and your like pop gun that you call a melta pistol or an infernius pistol or whatever it is okay well he has to move now there's no other option for him he can't see anybody god if I had known he could shoot that far I would have moved oh well it just really sucks that he can do enough damage to kill one of your guys in one turn that's probably the strongest enemy we've seen so far Although, I think we have seen one of those before. We just had a lot better cover. I don't know that he moved. Let's find out. Nope, didn't move. Well, that's fine by me. Let's see. One, two, and hide. Over here. Let's go out this way. Actually, we'll frag him first. Okay, at least the, the normal melta gun's kind of doing its thing. 750 damage right there. That's pretty good. Okay, we'll get back into cover here. Dagmar is going to hold down the fort. And let's see, uh, you're good right there. Okay. Is he going to move? That's the question. If he stays there, I think we'll be okay. We can just keep 
shooting and falling back into cover with these two. Let's see. 23. Oh, wow, that's not really doing much, is it? Next turn, I think I'm going to use the uh, Adrenaline Rush. But we got to get his health down a little bit lower first, because I need to guarantee that I can make the kill. If I'm not sure and I use it, he's dead. Because he can one-shot anybody that we leave out in the open. Dagmar's going to keep holding down the middle. You can't quite hit him. Okay, it's getting a little bit intense. Got a lot of do or die situations here. Okay, he is coming down the, the middle now. But he wasted all his AP, so we have time to move. And it took a hell of a lot of shots to put him down, but we finally got him down. Okay, what is the plan now? I think he's safe there. I think. These two are very much not, though. So let's put as many grenades on him as we can. We'll just keep chalking up, or keep racking up the damage, and then he's going to dive back behind this. Let's see. That's one. That's two. Three. Oh, we can actually kill him right now if we if we go after him. Sindril, do it. Oh, you bastard. There it is. Okay, now we just need to deploy the bomb. A little bit disappointed we lost the marine there, but at least we were able to get the big guy. Okay, so what's our plan of action from here. There is a gene sealer there. Here, hit him with the charged shot. Oh, you moron. I guess it's my fault more than anything. Oh, did he have a shot? I think he did have a shot. Oh, well. We'll start moving up. Let's see if he wants to come down or to the right. Whew, at least the big guy's out of the way. Gene Stealers are nothing new. We've dealt with them before. They're both going to go after Syndril, but that's fine. Syndril's a Gene Stealer killing machine. I'm more worried about Elijah over here by himself. Oh, if you miss... Actually, you know what? Yeah, we get, there's no friendlies in line of sight, so just use that. There we go. Save myself the AP. All right, time to deploy the vortex bomb. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, we don't even get to see it. That's disappointing. Poor Incarnus. I mean, we brought him along for that sole purpose of fighting something big, and he gets like one shotted by the big thing before he can even do anything. At least uh, these guys got some XP. Dagmar doesn't really need any more XP. There's nothing else he can unlock other than um, another item slot, which he already has too. Sindril's sort of in the same boat, but there is a couple of things he can unlock. Elijah and Ventress are really the ones that need it. What did we get here? A multi melta Eh. Okay, so it looks like the next vision next vision the next mission is going to be a good old-fashioned horde defense so this is part three of act nine and the mission is called vortex the death watch have reached the bomb site but the hive mind has realized what they intend the kill team must defend the vortex bomb against the onslaught so for this mission i don't know that ventress is going to be all that useful so we'll probably replace him i'm thinking tamir would be a good choice so we'll bring our three uh, Blood Angels along. 
as we've done many times in the past. But yeah, I think this is going to be our team, so let's roll. This act may be the last in your service to the Emperor. Remember your oaths and honor your chapter. Only in death does duty end. That's funny, none of the uh, text actually match what he was saying. So we have to defend this position, it's kind of awkward, because there's a lot of places for them to hit us from. I don't know how I want to do this. Maybe getting the Devastators like here so they can watch this way, without being able to you know, be fired upon from straight on. I think that's worth a shot. I think what I'll do, I don't know that they're really going to, how hard can they hit us from here? I imagine not very, so I think we're going to have the TAC Marines here, and then Sindril, fittingly, is going to be our Red Rover, and he's just going to run around and uh, do whatever he needs to do to keep Tyranids off our backs. Okay, we've got issues, so th apparently they are going to spawn behind us, which I think is cheap. I wish the game wouldn't do that. But even worse, we have a Broodlord on the map. And he's going to be pretty tough to deal with. The only people with shots on him right now are uh, Elijah, I think Dagmar did. No, just Elijah. So we're just going to keep some heat on him. It's not really going to do much other than piss him off. Uh, good thing I chose Sindril to be our Red Rover because he's the best at dealing with Gene Stealers. And he's going to have to deal with a lot of them, it looks like. This is a good spot for him, too, because he doesn't need to move. Come on, you got this. There it is. Okay. Dagmar, why don't you overwatch? Karnas, overwatch. And Tamir, overwatch. You didn't overwatch. There it is. Okay, putting some heat on him. Not going to be enough to kill him, though. Somebody big and angry. Oh, yeah. It's a hive guard, I think. And two more gene stealers. So let's see. He's probably the most important thing for us to deal with. And the multi melta is going to come up empty once let's see let's hit him with the crack grenade and then we're gonna throw a frag right here hopefully we can do some mass damage to everybody no but we did get both gene stealers so that's something crack grenade here again 400 damage that time and then I guess we'll just shoot the heck out of this guy. He's only got 700 health. That's actually not that much. Yeah, he's not really a huge threat. Although, if we're in line of sight, he could potentially wreck our shit with his little ability. Actually, let's do the full powered shot. 300 damage, not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. Sindril's going to go Gene Stealer hunting. Two for two there, not bad either. I'm not sure who has line of sight on him, but it makes me nervous. He's going to, like, one-shot somebody. Let's have you overwatch there. They keep spawning on this side. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. Okay, well, in that case, we need him to get out of there. Oh, wow. I was going to say, there's no way we're going to get that lucky. But they are starting to flank us now, which is a problem. Another miss. Oh, I forgot. Now he's stuck. Whoops. Now we have to kill the uh, hive guard. I'm going to use this ability, though, because there's like four targets we can hit right now. 
So that's like optimal, optimal shootiness. Let's have you just do this. Yeah, you're kind of worthless. I hate to say it, but you're kind of worthless. Okay. Take your final shot there. I think Dagmar will be able to finish him. The issue being that Dagmar also needs to try to kill the um, the hive guard down here, and that's not looking like it's going to be possible. Yeah, not going to do it. Oh wow, he almost did. He almost did. Okay, let's just Overwatch over here again. Unfortunately, uh, Incarnus might bite the bullet here. Actually, so might Tamir. If he hits all those, it's not going to be pretty. Oh, he's going to go after Dagmar now. That's okay. He can spread the damage around a little bit. Dagmar's going to give it to you right back. And why don't you try to finish him off? Awesome. Right, so we have a Tyrant Guard moving in. We need to start putting some heat on him. Luckily, uh, Incarnus has a shot. That multi-melt is actually going to be pretty effective here. Can we crack grenade him from there? We can. Oh, whoops. Yeah, let's throw that crack grenade at him. And let's see, Syndril, can you deal with these guys? Thank you. He's going to be raking in the XP right here. Hmm. Not going to be able to get them this turn. I will keep putting grenades on him, though. And then let's go for a full powered plasma shot. That uh, wasn't very effective. Not particularly effective. Okay, let's overwatch here and here and then there. Luckily, I don't think he has any ranged attack. So, yeah, I mean, it's gonna. Oh, no. Uh, poor Tamir. He just wants to... Yikes. He just wants to level up and become useful like everybody else, but he keeps getting killed. Okay, you gotta deal with the big guy. And you're gonna miss. Twice. Wow. Wow. Okay. Let's frag here. He might hit him. No. No such luck. Oh, two. Really? Really? Well, I'm gonna use his ability right here. At least it saved me an AP. And you know what? Take one more shot and then move. Yeah, step out of the way. You are gonna give this guy hell. Damn it. This isn't looking good. I was hoping he'd be able to do it. I'm going to go Adrenaline Rush here. It's going to make us very, very vulnerable because anything that spawns back here is no longer going to be checked by him, but I need this guy dead this turn because he could potentially kill Dagmar next turn. Okay, that gives you two, two AP left. Not a whole lot to do with it. Okay, but these guys are dead at least. So Dagmar, this camera is so weird. Dagmar is going to have to hold that down. You can overwatch at least, so let's have him overwatch this way. But now he's, he's completely done for the next turn. Uh-oh. 
Oh, he survived. Only just, but he survived. Okay. Um, I guess just try to shoot him. And you, can you overwatch? Yeah, apparently he can. Syndril's gonna guard that. You can't do anything, so Elijah's gonna stay back here for now. So we've got a pretty large problem here, namely a Carnifex. So, uh, gotta figure out how we want to handle this. Unfortunately, by the time Incarnus sees him, he's gonna be able to kill Incarnus. Unless I move him. So, moving him back to here might not be a terrible idea. But if he steps here, he could potentially kill either of them. Which is not a great proposition. Can you at least kill these gene stealers for me? Uh, I knew that was too much to ask. Yeah, worthless. Okay. Syndrome knows how to take care of business. Um, throw a grenade at him. That'll help. And are you out? No, you're not. Actually doing decent damage to him. He's not super, super strong. Strong enough, though. Um, I've got a crack grenade. We'll use it. Every little bit counts. Just one of these two is going to die this this next turn. I just don't know who to pick. I think I'm going to have him move back there. I think he's still vulnerable, though. I'm actually going to move him here. That gun's going to be most effective against him. Dagmar, unfortunately, isn't going to be super effective against him. But I'd also like to keep Dagmar alive because he's effective against pretty much everything else. So I'm going to have him fall back one. Actually, there would have been the smarter choice. Oh, well. We'll see what happens. He's got a ton of AP, too, which is worrying. Oh, uh, these guys. I hate these guys so much. Miss. Killed. And he's going to move this way. Alright. So. He's obviously our main concern. I get two shots with him. And then four with him. You know what? I'm going to do this right now. Because he can't see any friendlies. So there's really nothing to lose. And I can adrenaline rush if I need to. Well, let's take his shots first. Oh, of course you miss. Yeah, this is, this is not going to happen. <laughs> this is not going to get done. Uh, I've got a crack grenade. Let's use that. Boom. Not enough to really make a difference. He'll blow up. Can you kill the gene stealers, maybe? At least he got one of them. He's not close enough to attack anybody. Going to need to adrenaline rush here. And now it's just a matter of getting this guy down before he kills everybody. If we could just get some crits, that would be fantastic. That was a crit, but it wasn't enough. Oh, one more shot would have done it. Oh well. We'll see what happens, but it's not looking good. The, the problem here is that he's going to get killed, and he's still got enough AP to go waste him. Luckily, the Gene Stealer totally blocked him. What an idiot. You might have just cost your, your team the uh, match there, buddy. Oh, how do you miss? 
How do you miss that shot? Okay. Um, I'm gonna use this because we've got two in the vicinity. Three in the vicinity, actually. Oh, four. Wow. He's taking shots at everybody. Um, you can save him right there, so do that. You're done. Can you kill him, maybe? Oh, that would have been awesome if you could have made that shot. Alright, well, he's safe. Let's kill you if we can. Awesome. So he'll attack Elijah. But he shouldn't be able to kill me. Man, what a what a brutal battle this has been. Oh no. Killed by a lowly Hormagaunt. That's embarrassing. Alright, so it's down to just Elijah. It's gotta make a heroic stand here. We'll see how many more turns we have to do this for. Um I don't know what I should do. I can't hit him. There's nothing else I can use this AP on. Oh well. He's gonna come whack me twice. Is he the last one? If he's the last one and I, I've i beaten this, I'm gonna do a little dance. Yes! Yes! Oh my god, that was one hell of a mission. How does how is the last mission gonna top this? I wonder. Oh man, everybody but Elijah, and he's the one that always dies. That's what's so great about it. He's always the one that dies. Okay, what did we get? We better get something good. Oh, power fist. Pfft, whatever. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode here. I'll take care of the level ups off camera. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, please feel free to share my videos however you guys see fit, and I will see you guys back here for the last episode of our. Warhammer 40k Death Watch Let's Play.